this morning of Halloween when we hope that all our children will be safe and sound tonight. The government is pleased to call government order G91. Order G91, resuming the debate adjourned on October 29, 2013, on the motion for second reading of Bill 91, an act to establish a new regime for the reduction, reuse, and recycling of waste, and to repeal the Waste Diversion Act 2002. Further debate. The member from Newmarket, Aurora. Speaker, thank you. And uh, on this Halloween day, it's my pleasure to speak to this bill, which uh, is full of tricks. Uh, on the part of the government. <clears throat> uh, not a treat here uh, in Bill 91. Uh, and on behalf of my constituents in Newmarket uh, and Aurora, I want to register my concerns on their behalf uh, regarding this legislation. Uh, speaker, the bill is entitled An Act to Establish a New Regime for the Reduction, Reuse, and Recycle of Waste and to Repeal the Waste Diversion Act 2002. Speaker, it should be entitled an act to establish a new regime of taxation, to shift eco fees from receipts to price tags, and supersize Waste Diversion Ontario into a tax creation machine called the Waste Diversion Authority. That's what the title of the bill should be. So let's start with this so-called supersized Waste Reduction Authority. So, Speaker, what will it be empowered to do? Well, a lot of things that, quite frankly, I believe if the people of this province fully understood what the implications of this new mandate and this new empowerment of this authority is, would have reason to be concerned. So it has the authority to impose new taxes to levy fines and arbitrarily decide how much Ontario businesses will pay for the Blue Box program. All consistent with this Liberal government's agenda of tax and spend, but the absolute wrong thing to do for consumers in this province and for businesses who, quite frankly, Speaker, are still struggling and are doing their best to cope with the burden of red tape and the overtaxation initiated by this, uh, by this government. How many more rogue agencies and authorities does this government want to unleash on the citizens of this province? Not only are they creating another tax machine, they'll have no control over how high those taxes go or how much more businesses will have to pay into what I predict will become yet another hole, black hole, complements of this government. As it stands now, Ontario businesses and municipalities split the cost of the Blue Box program. Property owners across this province are paying for the municipality's share of the cost of the Blue Box program. Under this bill, the government will empower this supersized waste reduction authority to increase the amount that businesses will have to pay by hundreds of millions of dollars a year without any offset to the property taxes. It would be one thing, Speaker, if there was an offset and we could justify uh, that on perhaps a, a revenue neutral basis. But here's, here's the clue. The fact that there is no offset on the one side, the fact that the, this uh, new authority is going to be uh, empowered to increase by hundreds of millions of dollars. Now, uh, the siphoning of, of money from businesses into this new authority indicates that this is yet simply another tax grab. The, the result is that Ontario consumers will see the price of the products that they purchase increase because businesses will simply pass through the cost of this to their product. In the final analysis, it's the consumer who pays, given the fact that consumer prices will increase and there is no offset on the property taxes, it is yet another double hit on the consumers and property owners in this province. So, Speaker, why am I compelled to vote against this legislation? If for no other reason, it's a fact that I can't justify having anything to do with adding one more dollar of tax onto the backs of people 
who are already having a hard time making ends meet in this province or further putting up hurdles and increasing the cost to businesses struggling already in this province. Now, Speaker, beyond raising taxes and fees, both for consumers and businesses, is the fact that this legislation will spawn a legion of bureaucrats that will multiply and reach into every corner of this province. And the last thing we need is more government, larger government, because we know where that ends, with higher costs, yet far beyond the initial costs of this program. We hear the minister tell us all of the supposed treats that are in this, in this bill. What, what he fails to tell us is that he is creating yet another bureaucracy that will far, far outweigh the benefits that he's telling us are in this bill. So who can we expect in that bureaucracy? Well, let's start with a registrar. And of course, if you have a registrar, you have to have a deputy registrar. And I have no doubt that those deputies will feel that they'll need assistant registrars, and so we start the growth. And of course, along with the uh, compliance aspect of this bill, guess what we're going to hire? We're going to hire a host of inspectors who will be empowered with seizure responses. They, they will actually have seizure powers. Now, if you have that, of course what you need is another bureaucracy so that people can appeal on the actions of the inspectors. And so, what the bill will do is give us a, an, another appeal mechanism and that appeal mechanism is referred to as a tribunal. Now, we're all familiar with tribunals. Uh, it's a bureaucratic process. It's expensive. People will spend a great deal of time, first of all, trying to figure out what the access is. But in order for any tribunal to do its work, what well, guess what we need? We need more staff. And so it doesn't take long for us as we consider what we have in front of us here <clears throat> are, is the making of another m massive bureaucracy that will bring with it a mountain of regulations that will carry with it new provisions for penalties and fines and in the end make environmental criminals of innocent people right across this province because the waste police are going to be chasing them. Speaker, this boondoggle, we have to give thanks to the Liberal NDP coalition government of this province. I have no doubt that uh, the New Democrats will be supporting this bill uh, as they have been supporting most other bills. And, and you know, I believe the people of this province are waking up to the fact that we do not have a Liberal minority government. We have a Liberal NDP coalition government in this province. That's what we have. And if they would only, if they would only be willing to tell us that. The truth of the matter is that there isn't, the, you know, I, it, it, it's ironic. The, the member from Essex stood up in the House just the other day and eloquently, eloquently boasted uh, about uh, how incredibly proud he is to be a member of the NDP uh, party. And, you know, God bless you for having that pride. But what he doesn't tell us is that he has to also take along with that pride the shame of being part of a caucus that boosts and has propped up this government that in our opinion, and I believe in the opinion of the vast majority of Ontarians, has lost the moral authority to be the government in this province. And so, when the people of this province start to look at the cost of this bill, let alone all of the other legislation and, and regulations that uh, we have to pay for, when they start to go to the cash register and when they start to see the increasing bills and when they find it difficult, even more difficult, to make ends meet at the end of the day, I want to remind them that that will be compliments of the Liberal NDP coalition government that we have in this province today. And Speaker, I believe 
that the day of rec reckoning will come. And it's not just about this waste management bill. It's about the waste that people have seen of their tax dollars. Yes. Thanks to the liberal NDP coalition government of the province of Ontario. Thank you, Speaker. But don't have the programs in place to participate, but this will maybe give them an opportunity to participate. Thank, Thank you, you very Speaker. much. Further debate? No. Oh, sorry. Two minute response by the yes. member of Newmarket Aurora. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, in, re, you know, in response to the member from Algoma, Manitoulin, I would suggest that we need a fourth R. And the fourth R would be recovery. And recovery from the mess that this government has put us into, thanks to the support of the NDP. But, Speaker, I, I, I want to just say this. I, I, it, it, it's interesting how this government can take a good idea and bungle it in, through implementation. Because what we're concerned about is the massive bureaucracy that is being constructed under the guise of a good intention. This government could not find a file that it can't bungle up. And so with something as well-intentioned as recycling, they've done it again. And it'll be a multi-million dollar, if not billion dollar, boondog. Why did the government not take the proposal put forward more than a year ago by the PC caucus. Yep, exactly. That plan has as a starting point the scrapping of each and every eco fee foisted on this government, uh, on the people of Ontario by this government. Yep. We would get rid of, of the out of control, costly bureaucracies that have been established by this government and put control back into the Minister of the Environment where it should be, where there's also accountability. And we would treat recyclable material as a valuable resource and go get into business, allow business to actually turn those recyclable materials into products that, are, that have a benefit. This government couldn't get it right if we tried to show them how, because they wouldn't understand common sense. And so what I am saying to the people of Ontario, don't be fooled by the trick-or-treat on this Halloween day by this government.